invite you to um, sit back, take an object. Let's have five minutes and just feel. Okay, can you see that? Everybody sees that? Okay, so that's, I call that the communication map. And in the beginning is the transpersonal state in all of us. The transpersonal state is, you know, the void, zero. There is, there is no identification. There is just, you know, when we were still in our mother's womb, when we there, the unity was the, the uni unity field of consciousness, oneness, um, where we have been conceived in, um, the you know the, the before personality structure the, the the vastness of isness this is the transpersonal state we still have that it's there you know everybody has experienced glimpses in meditation when you're taking drugs or when you in a vipassana or whatever you do it is there and it's part of our reality so the sun is just coming around the corner one second please um so, so the transpersonal space is literally that, um, you know, uh, whatever it is, I cannot extract. You try to put words on it, then you, then you lost the plot. <laughs> it's like, okay, now he's saying it, finally. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, um, but somehow we have to create a meaning around it to describe something that is undescribable. <laughs> So then the next step in there is, so I just want to give you this overview and what you do is that is of course your choice. So the next step is what I call the apex or the interpersonal state. So the interpersonal state is, this is where altruism is, where human engagement is with another, where manifestation is happening where engagement happens in flows and ease and you know the spiritual um, altruistic place of we are all one and we engage and we give and we are beings that are evolve and flow in life with ease and as everything is beautiful and the winning and love and care and you know you know what i mean right okay so the the ideal of human engagement <laughs> Um, I love that because when it happens, this is just beautiful. So from there, the next step is that um, there's a nice video about this this guy um, from 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 Egypt, Nas 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 Nasim Dadida. There's a video about that where he said that the that the expression of God, when you look into the Bible, the expression of God is literally a triangle. So it's it's I can send you the link later in the in, in the in the um, uh, in the group so that you just have a research if you want to do that. It's really fascinating. So that that the that the top of this triangle and he said the name of God is literally triangle. Oh my, <laughs> oh my triangle. So he, he makes fun of that. So that the top of that is the apex of personal and spiritual development where you drop into this field. So. Um, so when you look literally on this on so so you see that in that video you look on a triangle on a two-dimensional reality on top of that but then you just see just like nothing you see a line but when you see that in the three-dimensional reality and you look on that oh, that was and you look on that on top you literally see like like what as if you look on a pyramid from on top yeah does that make sense to everybody so when you look on this on top it looks like that like like a like a like a, a square with two lines in there that's a pyramid from on top so that when you look on this pyramid on top this is how the entire engagement system what we just have done last time related to the uh, a three minute game and how that all occurred is literally possible to transfer so that the entire engagement zones in here is literally accessible in this you look on top of this pyramid so now the communication of that is when in the apex in the interpersonal space you're just making invitation i want that 
you want that too great and then you're having a harmonic flow of energy but the engagement zones is below the apex the the engagement zones is how we engage with another and in form of communication the way how we communicate as humans and that's in all languages they're using our western society thinking brain like as we communicate is the same you either make an offer or you make a request and you divide that in either in permission or agreement this is the if you look into deeper into the deeper context of language and communication this is all there is there's not much more than that either an offer or a request and you either have permission or you have an agreement that's the end of the line as deep as you dig, as deep as you want to look in that, this is it. I cannot make it more simple and easy. If you want to ed educate yourself in communication, find out what an offer is and what a request is. And this is what the engagement system is. So that when you're making an offer in the three minute game, hey, what do you want me to do to you? Or what do you want to do to me? This is the two offers based on either I offer you to do something for yourself or I offer you to do something for you. Either or, there's not more than that. Request is either I ask, may I do that or can you do that for me? That's the end of the line of making requests. It's either my action for myself or it is your action for me. That's it. So going a little de uh, level deeper is then you have the base. What is literally when you look here on the square from on top of the pyramid is just the bottom line here. And this is this square that you see here. That's the base and the base in this entire structure is self-care. Self-care, self-love. What you have a right to and the responsibility you are, um, your body, your feelings, everything that happens in two, radical self-responsibility is happening there. And pleasure in your hand. So what we have done over the last uh, six weeks is this is where you create your base. This is your base in your body to feel and be responsible for your feelings and your choices. And that has to be an inside job. It cannot come from the outside. It has to be inside. The outside thing is all the conditioning stuff, what we should and what we have to and blah, blah, blah. Your inside job is, and that's mine and everybody else's too, is create that foundation, impeccable, radical, self-responsibility. It's nobody else's fault how I feel. It's, it's my responsibility. Whatever you do and say, whatever's going on in the world, I am the core, the source of this experience. That's the base, self-care. And of course, if I can feel that, I can ask, hey, may I feel you? Yes, you may. Hey, can you, do, can you touch me on my back? Yes, I can. Oh, no. And then I still want to do that. I, I wanna, still want to feel that. So next step in there is the shadows yeah, that we have seen. The shadows is, is when people making demands. You have to, you should, giving hints, making orders, commanding dictatorship coheres pushing manipulating you should the statements uh i want this i want that without asking a question um uh have to's or you need to so the conditioning from the outside where we sh the entire should world is there so the shadows is where we are not communicating clearly making a request and asking it back or being resentful when we're asking something and somebody says no and then just like you are responsible that i'm feeling bad now if somebody says no great thank you for your limits i feel bad and i take take care of my feelings even if i'm resentful i'm angry i can own my anger without projecting it on you so now a step um, deeper in this this is not a a structured system you know there's an ascending and descending way and it goes on both sides up and down and when we are in life we're either engaging with somebody in the shadow 
and we think they are in a transpersonal or interpersonal space, or we think somebody's in an interpersonal transpersonal space, or we think we are there, but actually they think we are in the shadow. So there's a coexistence between the shadows and the interpersonal space constantly between humans when we engage. But what makes it clear is the agreement that we have, specifically when it comes to touch and connection. But when you have your base together, when you know where there is an agreement or no agreement, you can determine, is it a shadow or is it an altruistic, unconditional action without an agenda? You know, your body knows, your nervous system knows. I know, I, I, you know, I, because I know what the agreements are I'm having with people around me. So, Last step here is that there's a structure of personal and spiritual development. And that was just like kicking my butt when I found that. So it's, I said that 20 years ago, I was in deep research um, going into Ramana Maharashi's um, Advaita Vedanta about satsang and spiritual personal development. And I was literally, um, being deep in the process 20 years ago, and I was, I was looking up the functionality of the OM sign. And you might, you might have, have looked into that. So you can look that up on Google, uh, the meaning of OM, and you find different uh, descriptions and, and different um, ideas, meanings, let's say the meanings, how it's structured. But you find as well a pretty similarity about this one here and the structure of this triangle related to the spiritual and personal development structure. So that you see here, this big thing is the base. You see on top of the base are the shadows. Or let's start with the shadows. So you have here on top of this part is the shadow in the OM side. Yeah, it's the, it's the underworld is the deep sleep, the disconnection of people with the world around them and survive. Um, and then you have the base, uh, what is your boundaries and you're saying no, where you are taking self-care and you um, uh, practice self-love, where you just take responsibility for yourself. That's the wake up state here. So people waking up, that's like, yeah, this is a no, not that f further, that's the stop. And then you just go into the next step. This is the so-called you um, um, wake your your you wake up, but you're still dreaming. So you know that you're still dreaming while you wake up, and that's the engagement zone. So this is an entire thing, just like yeah. So that's a very simple formula here. I can ask for what I want, but it's fucking shit scary, and I'm afraid of rejection. I'm afraid of being made wrong or uh, just like my conditioning is I don't have to ask It's not good to receive the entire spiritual overbuilt is it's more holy to give than to receive. Yeah. But if you don't have your base and your engagement zone together, you get fucking lost in my perception. And then you have the next one. What is the interpersonal space here? What is the apex? What is that part here on top where you're making invitation? Hey, I want that. Do you want that too? Yeah, let's hang out together. This is what relationship should look like when we're having a clear agreement field together, what we want to explore on where we want to be and where we want to go. And if we don't have them, then we probably have more like a shadow engagement in a relationship because we think this is how it should be and how we have to behave. But nothing of that never has been communicated. So we're just avoiding it all together. So that but when we have that stuff together the invitation part where we hang out and where we can feel each other simultaneously so i have my base together i can feel myself my partner has their base together we can feel each other and we merging into the field of oneness and transpersonal um, experiences where there is no boundaries of our bodies existing because we're merging and this is an on it's just like you just imagine um you have a torus that is constantly in, a, in an ascending and descending way evolving that's what the what the um 
uh, ascending descending structures literally demonstrating it just it's a it's a constant change every day with other people we are around we will we will never finish and be complete till the day we die life is a school <laughs> Okay, this is what I wanted to show you today. Um, it's eleven. It's eleven o'clock. Um, uh, let's have just one minute of taking an object and just feeling it again. Create your base. A micro thing. Uh, take this cushion here. <laughs> 